Welcome back to Harvest Moon Animal Parade. So last time we managed to get a larger rucksack and we're quite happy about that because we can carry a lot of our tools and whatnot. So anyways, now we're going to head back to the farm, plant all the seeds we have because we have a lot of seeds. Um, we need to still get especially a lot of lettuce seeds because we want to grow at least six more good or better quality lettuce so that we can hand into Ruth so that we can hang the yellow bell on the frame. Um, so that one we're kind of close to uh, ringing that bell. Uh, the other bell we're kind of close to ringing as well is the red bell, I think, because we just have to get it out of the chimney which requires one more ore. Although it's the rarest of the ore, which is the gold ore, so we still need to be able to get a gold ore. Um, and then we have the green bell, which is related to the witch. That one's probably going to be a ways away, because I need like cornmeal and something from the Toucan Island, which I'm assuming I can't get until um, until I restore the blue bell. So I've got a few things to do. Um, but for now, we're going to worry about planting. We're going to plant all of our lettuce seeds here. I am purposely avoiding these lighter colored areas because, as you can even see, like the tulips there, they weren't even ready, even though they were all planted at the same time. So it was because of the soil quality. Uh, it didn't, uh, wasn't ready in as quickly as the others. Actually, I said those were potatoes in a previous uh, one, but uh, these are not potatoes. These are more strawberry plants that I planted. Um, let's go plant our tulip seeds over here. And we have five cabbage seeds. Which, we'll just plant them all along here. I do want to start upgrading tools eventually, but as you can see our money is incredibly low at the moment, so it's going to have to wait. Um, but I do definitely want a better watering can. And we might still have time after we finish watering this to make our way to the Harvest Goddess. And... Maybe even do a little bit of mining in the mine to see if we can maybe potentially get a gold ore. Yeah, so upgrading the tools will increase the area. So we'll be able to water more than one square at a time. Uh, depending on how far we upgrade it. So right now I think we can only upgrade to iron. And it's like three or two thousand G's with uh, three pieces of iron. So we have a bit of iron already stockpiled in our storage. Um, but we don't have the money. Did we put our animals outside? Yeah, we did. There they are. So Bessie and Wooly are both outside. Now, I was thinking about how far into this game to play, because it does have a bit of a story to it. Um, but Harvest Moon games are basically, usually, like, uh, you play for as long as you basically want, essentially, and make your own goals. This one, however, has a bit of uh, story goals involved with the whole bells and whatnot. So, I was thinking, probably complete all the story and get married would probably be as far as I'll go. Um... Hopefully, I don't know what the story entails, but if it gets really convoluted and annoying at the end where it's a lot of time involved, it might stop before we get to that point. Um, but we'll see. We'll go as long as it's still entertaining anyway, at least for myself. Okay, so let's head on over. Now that everything is watered, we're going to head over to the Harvest Goddess uh, to ask her about the Bluebell because our little Harvest Sprite doesn't remember the melody he needs to... Uh, ring the bell, because the bell is already on the frame and seems to be intact, not rusted or anything. There is a lot of mushrooms here, aka presents. Lots of presents. 
I hope there's mushrooms in every season because there are they're currently our go-to gift. It's 5:30. I think we might make it to the harvest goddess in time. We need to remember to put our animals in though. Because Bessie was kind of upset with us last time we left her out overnight. We probably should have actually put them inside before we came up here, but oh well. Hello, Luke. I think his name is Luke. Yep. Hey. I heard you started a ranch. I'll help you out any way I know. Well, how about I help you out with... Uh... A mushroom. You're welcome. We have some bears here, baby bear, and mama bear. Purple herb. All right. It's six o'clock now, so I don't know if we're maybe too late for the harvest goddess, but nope. Now, what is the matter, Steve? Uh, ben forgot the melody of his bell. How do we get him to remember? Oh my, that's not good. The bell's melodies have sounded since long ago. Someone who is familiar with the watery cave may know the melody of the blue bell. Find someone who is very familiar with the watery cave and speak to them. Ben can be forgetful, but he has a good heart. Please, help him remember the melody of the blue bell. So Ben is the name of the harvest bear. I think I called him Sam recently because I wasn't really paying attention to his name. But he is... I wonder if she'll give us a little bit more of a clue as to who to actually talk to for Ben's bell. Um, it says to talk to someone knowledgeable about the sea. Uh, oops, I didn't want to do that. Alright. And we still know nothing about Edge's bell yet. We haven't gotten any indication about that one. So. Maybe that one will happen once we get the other ones. Because the other ones we pretty much know what to do. Although the green bell is kind of the most annoying of them at the moment. But. We'll see. So I think we need to like cornmeal and other stuff. <laughs> we need a cornmeal and other stuff. Uh, flour from Toucan Island, and I don't remember what the other item was. But we'll talk to the wizard again eventually and uh, keep those items in mind. Good evening, Bo. We've got a mushroom for you. Even though you could have just picked those two that are right next to you. But. Getting a gift is always better than uh, getting it yourself, right? It's the thought that counts, not the item. Except for Chase, because he hates mushrooms. Do we have anything we can ship? We have the sea urchin. Alright. We're not going to make much money today, unfortunately. Uh, we don't have a lot to ship. Um, we also need to figure out where to get a milker. Because we do not have one, so if Bessie grows up, we will not be able to milk her. Um, I think we're gonna... Um, I'm assuming that they're more common the lower we get, at least the gold ore and stuff, so... And I might try the watery cave eventually too, because uh, that might might have better luck there, I'm not sure. Because we did get iron, so probably similar items. Um, no, we missed him. Oh well. I wonder if he pops up again. Oh, we're on floor 7 already. Might as well start hammering our rocks. That's copper. Where is he? There he is. 
Oh, you give us a toadstool? That kind of sucks. That's a poisonous mushroom. Not sure anybody would like to receive a poisonous mushroom as a gift. Here, I want you to die. Please eat this. Silver ore, we'll take that as well. We'll probably start stockpiling ore eventually, too. Uh, like the other types of ore, not just iron. But right now we can't... I don't think we can upgrade to those type of... Uh, uh, tools yet, so... No reason to really stockpile them. Well, I mean, we'll have them for later, I suppose. That is bad gas. Ugh. You know what? We're going to go down. And then we'll go back up. Just because we don't like confusion gas. Oh god. Poison gas. That's copper ore. Oh no, that was good gas! No, I think that green one was pretty good stuff too, but... Oh well. Uh, it's already 8 o'clock. We don't want to stay up too late, because we... Poison gas. That's, I think that's like sickness gas, this one. This one's bad, we didn't want to get involved in that. Poison gas, I think we have no, like, we can't really avoid it, it's too fast. Uh, let's see here. Oh no, that was good gas, no! That's scrap, we're not even gonna bother picking that up. Yeah, double confusion gas is not great. I was kind of hoping that if you get confused while you're confused, that it would unconfuse you. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Uh, confusion gas sucks. There we go. Alright, we're not looking like we're gonna get any gold ore in this particular run. We'll probably try out the watery cave next time. Alright, maybe like two more rocks, these two up here, and then we're... Dunsies, alright. We didn't even get many ores or anything from here, really. Um, anyways, let's get out of here. Getting late. Let's see here. Alright, let's ship what we can. So, we're gonna ship the copper. We don't care. We can get it when we need it, I guess. Uh, our two toadstools and the mushroom, regular mushroom. Everything else we're gonna keep, and we're going to now make our way back to our farm and call it a night, I think. I think we've done enough today. Um, we are gonna have to go into Harmonica Town to find out more about the Watery Cave. So tomorrow we... Tomorrow's Tuesday... Tuesday... Yeah, everything's open. I think everything's closed on Wednesdays in Flute Fields, Thursdays at Garmin Mine, and Sundays for Harmonica Town. Ooh. 
So yeah, we'll try. We'll check out the watery cave tomorrow. See if we can get anything good out of there, and uh, we'll talk to some of the fishermen people. See if they've got any idea, any ideas about the bluebell melody to help out Ben. Is that something I can pick up? Really? No, no. I wonder how our egg is doing. It's been a, we put it in there what, like two, three days ago, maybe. Just go take a peek, see if it's still there. It's actually, I think in Story of Seasons, the um, you have to actually talk to the incubated egg every day, which is really odd. Alright, so let's call it a night, I think- Oh no 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 no, we are not gonna call it a night, I almost forgot something very important. Uh, which would be bad. Although they might already be uh, annoyed at me because it's uh, 11 o'clock, almost. But we are going to put our animals back in. We need to remember to do this. Because uh, we just have a cow and a sheep. I think we can only have three animals based off of how many feed bins there are. So, And I think I want a goat goat next. But I don't know when those will unlock. Alright, so let's... Sleepy time? See how much money we made. Eh, 660. I mean, not great. And we sent a quite a Mm, I think we only ship, what, three copper ores or something? And maybe something else? Let's check our calendar, see if uh, we have anything coming... Oh, something's happening. Hello, Steve. I wanted to have a talk with you today. I want to tell you about the basics of farming. You mean the basics we've already kind of figured out on our own? Crops can only grow and survive when they're in season. Uh, when the season changes, all of your crops will die. So make sure a crop has enough time left in the season to grow before you plant it. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good. Good luck. Okay, that was... You didn't have to visit me at 6 in the morning for that. So, days are 28 days in this game, um, and we do have a flower festival on the 14th. We'll try to save a tulip for that. Okay, we'll start by taking care of our uh, crops first. Uh, looks like these tulips are ready. Although, in retrospect, I probably should have planted the tulips in the crummy uh, soil, because I don't think they have any quality associated with them. Alright. Slow grind of watering. If only I had more money, I would actually... Upgrade my uh, watering can to at least iron because I think iron is probably going to be two squares at once I mean, I'm probably not going to be planting This much normally, but the thing is is I need the lettuce so But this is more than I care to actually take care of But hopefully we'll get at least six good or better lettuce. Good or better. Good or better lettuces uh, from this uh, harvest here. I wonder. 
I also want to kind of take a peek at how much experience our tools have at the moment, too. Because our watering can's got to be doing... Oh, come on. One square. We have one plant too many. Alright. Now, let's take a peek at the experience on our tools. Oh, Hamilton's got a heart. Huh. So there's no half hearts in this game. It's uh, all or nothing, it seems like. What about our animals? How are they doing? Oops, not what I wanted to do. There we go. Bessie's got a heart. Pissed off at me, but got a heart. And... None of the animals have anything. Alright. Uh, let's take care of our sh of Wooly and Bessie. They probably want to eat. Do they eat all the food, really? Why, why aren't they eating? Did they already eat? I think I left them out too late last night. Uh, we gotta remember to bring them in earlier. But we have so many things to do, we can't be always home to make sure that they get what they need. Okay, so animals are taken care of. Um, we'll put them outside. We also need to go see our lovely bride-to-be, Renee. Because we have some blueberries for her. So we'll probably go see Renee first. And then we'll head on into Harmonica Town. To see if we can find out any more... Uh, uh, any more leads on the bluebell. Because the Harvest Goddess was being awfully coy about any information, so... I didn't even see that fruit there, I was just mashing A. But there was a second raspberry fruit there. So and we'll probably try to give a mushroom to everybody. Especially to Craig, because he loves mushrooms. But the fact that we already have a heart with Hamilton, that's uh, pretty quick. Although, I'm curious if uh, relationships degrade in this game. I really hope they don't. That was something I always hated about games. Like, if you stop talking to people or stop gifting them, their, uh, the amount of affection they have towards you would go down over time. Never enjoyed that. Can't you just be friends forever? Come here, squirrel. I heart you. Pick our three mushrooms here. Need to catch Renee before she goes into the barn, because I really don't feel like loading that. No, she's going right now. No, she's not. Okay, we'll uh, pet our baby boar here. And I see a mushroom over by the silo. We got some raspberry fruit for- or do you want blueberry? We'll try blueberry this time. We gave you a raspberry yesterday. You're welcome, Renee. I like Renee, because we look similar. We have the same hair. Kinda. I don't know where Kane is. I guess we could track him, but... Let's go give Hannah... A mushroom? Oh, you're in here. Hey, buddy. How about... How's the boat we gives you a mushroom? You're welcome. And... Hannah... You get some mushroom, too. Alright. Mushrooms given. I think the only other person we have to give is to Craig, because we can't give one to Ruth, because we're stuck on the quest where we have to give her... Well, the only crop we can give her now, because we're in spring, is uh, lettuce. So we can't actually give uh, Ruth any gifts until we complete that quest. But we can't even uh, really give the wizard gifts either, because we have a quest with him as well. Do 
do we really care about Craig? Yeah, we care about Craig. Let's go give him a gift. And he likes mushrooms, so I mean, why wouldn't I give him a mushroom at every opportunity I have? Alright, Craig. It seems like you're always eating every time we come here. Here's a mushroom. Eat some more. Oh, I think you're drinking. Are you an alcoholic, Craig? Alright. Uh, I'm trying to think. But we have seeds. This place closes on Wednesday, so we're okay, because I don't think anything's going to be ready to harvest tomorrow, so we won't have to replace any of our seeds. So we're not going to buy anything there. Um, I guess it's time to head on into Harmonica Town. Yeah. Uh, let's see if Toby's down this way, though. Although, I've seen him in Harmonica Town a lot. I think the only time we saw him here was the... Well, we do have the bunny. Hello, bunny. Um, I think the only time we saw him here is when he gave us the fishing rod. And it seems like the music bugs out when I go into that corner there, so I don't know. Okay, I think what we'll do is we will take a break here. Next time we'll head on into Harmonica Town, see if we can find out any information about the Bluebell. And we'll also do some mining in the Watery Cave, because I don't think there's really... And give gifts to people, of course, because we like gifting people. Um, so that's what we'll do next time. So as always, thanks for watching.